wanted to ask you, how do you prepare for these stunts? You've been doing them, yeah, they get better and better, but three decades. How do you prepare yourself to get involved? You know, uh, just, I mean, I, I've trained my whole life, and I constantly just to be able to make the movies, whether it's a drama or there's action in it all, and kind of my schedule. You know, I don't sleep much, and I'm, I really love what I do, so I'm working many long hours. And, and then what we do is, uh, usually I'll break the film down. Sometimes I, I get the opportunity where I break it down in sequences, and I work with the stunt team, and we train and train and train and train. I, I'm very meticulous also because I, you know, and I teach the actors and work with the actors on these sequences. And I, you know, work with the stunt team to design, to design the physicality that represents character and also story. And I, I'm watching the actors to see what is going to represent them in the, you know, in their characters in the best light. So it's, you know, I've been doing it for so long too, and I never take anything for granted. Is, is there any stunt that you turn down or anything you say, nah, this is not a Tom Cruise stunt or anything that you just personally don't want to do? Not really. I mean, when we come up with things, there's so many, you know, we, we on every film, I can't include them all. So, but it's, for me, it's, I want something that's cinematic, that's character and story. For me, story is king. And, and what we have to do is find ways of, you know, putting the audience inside that character, in, you know, particularly, you know, with the mission, if you, you, know, you, you want those shots, but it's, it's, it has to be in the right tone. You know, we're looking for tone with these kinds of things. And something that will be exhilarating and, you know, spine tingling.